San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, is not only a buzzing city, but also a historical hotspot. Less than 30 minutes away from the Juan Santa Maria Airport, San Jose Central is most definitely a place you cannot miss before you run off to the beach. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in Costa Rica, we are in San Jose. And we are going to visit a few spots worth checking out. El Museo de Arte Costarricense was built in 1940. However, before it was called home to a variety of exhibitions and art as it is today, it was the International Airport of Costa Rica. And art as it is. It is now open to the public and free of cost. So we're not going to be going inside today because obviously there's a lot of art in there and we're probably not going to be able to film very much of it. So we're just going to keep moving forward onto the next stop. San Jose is broken down into four regions, two of which we will be visiting today, La Sabana and the Centro Historico. La Sabana is a suburban neighborhood with offices and apartments, all surrounding Parque Metropolitano La Sabana. This park is a large recreational public space located just to the side of the National Stadium. Hey okay, guys, so we are going up there. This is one of the highest buildings that there is in San Jose to this date. And we're going to show you the view from above. And we're going to show you the view. So here we are on the 18th floor of the Hilton Hotel in San Jose. And here we have the National Stadium right behind us. Here's the park that we were just at. And then all around us we have like all of this beautiful city work. The National Stadium has been updated over the years. The rebuild was commissioned by China as a part of an agreement to create better ties between China and Costa Rica. This collaboration also contributed to what is now considered to be Chinatown in the central area of the city. So here's a quick tip for you guys. If you are coming to San Jose, central area you need to get of the around. city. Um, there's not only Uber to use, but you can also use DD. From La Sabana, the central of San Jose is just about 15 minutes by taxi. The main avenue in downtown San Jose has a variety of shopping, ranging from discount shops, clothing, electronics, fabrics, and fast food. Oh yeah, 25 minutes to get here by taxi. If there's no traffic, there's probably gonna be traffic. Heads up. <laughs> there you will also find a variety of sky-high buildings, which are homes to a variety of banking institutions and offices. You will also find quaint coffee shops through the alleyways that have been transformed into stunning courtyards and about five different McDonald's locations scattered along the way. Here is also where you can find the Central Market, which has a wide variety of sodas and other shops, but we will visit that in the future to show a bit more. San Jose has some incredible architecture. There is a great mix of architectural style in the downtown of San Jose, such as the building of Correos y Telegrafos de Costa Rica, faced by the national hero Juan Santa Maria himself and a massive clubhouse for people of the upper class. Many of these buildings hold a great deal of history as they were created just steps away from where it all began. The main avenue is a walking only street, so you can take your time strolling through and seeing all there is. From here, you will also have easy access to a few different museums and theaters that you can visit or simply enjoy the view from the streets. The National Theater of Costa Rica usually holds shows. However, due to the coronavirus, the shows are on hold but guests can still go inside to admire the space. So this is definitely a spot that you guys want to come and check out. The museums in the area are where you can go to learn more about the history of Costa Rica. There is the Museo del Banco Central, the Jade Museum, and the National Museum, to name a few. History is scattered all around the downtown area, hence the name Centro Historico. Each place with its own story, but all of these places connect their stories over time. For example, the Grand Hotel was the first five-star hotel in Costa Rica, which hosted President John F. Kennedy in 1963 at the start of the tourism industry. And 
the Colegio Superior de Señoritas, which educated the ladies who fought for women's and other human rights. There are also a number of parks and plazas dedicated to certain moments in history and characters, such as the Plaza of Social Guarantee, located right next to the office of La Caja. Parque Nacional, a nice green space decorated with a monument representing the Battle of Santa Rosa, in which gave Costa Rica better definition as a country. So we are now arriving. We just walked down the street from the other park. Parque España borders the antique building where Costa Rica's national liquor, Cacique, was born, as well as La Casa Amarilla, where powerful people from all over the world come to meet. And finally, Parque Francisco Morazan, named after the man who was considered to be the liberator of Costa Rica. In the very center is the Temple of Music, where fiestas and special events were held before modern times brought larger spaces to cater national celebrations. I feel like the morning I learned tour so for the morning. I learned so much in such a beautiful so city in a short, short period of time. Come and check it out. Period of if you time. have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you have and any questions, don't forget like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Don't forget to leave a comment. More fun Costa Rica content. Thanks for now, guys. See you next time.